I once asked my father, how's retirement, Dad? What do you do with your days in Karachi? Mostly read, visit friends, family, some charity work and a bit of teaching. And that was that. He was a man of few words. I've come to Karachi to learn for myself a bit more about that charity and teaching work. My mother, my four brothers and I left Pakistan in 1955 when I was three years old to join my father whose ambition it had been to become an eye surgeon. At that time, the place to make this happen was Britain. He planned then to return to the newly independent Pakistan to continue practicing what he had learned. Life and family delayed that return until 1984, when on his retirement, he once again settled in Karachi. I rang Dr. Kumar, who had been working at the hospital since it opened in the early 1980s. He told me that Dad gave lectures on patient assessment and how they should be cared for, sharing the vast experience he had gained working at Moorfields and the Royal Eye Hospital in London. He taught them how to keep records, new surgical procedures, and of course my father himself operated. On arrival at the hospital, I am struck by how large the place is and how warm and caring are the staff. In a corridor, I meet Dr. Siddiqui, who also knew my father. I discover that whenever Dad returned to Karachi from Britain, he would come armed with slides, reference books, and of course, more medical equipment. Whatever he could fit into his suitcase, I imagine. In the canteen, I meet young doctors who are just beginning their careers. The clinical experience they have here, they tell me, is invaluable. The operating theatres are modern and well-equipped. The assessment rooms have the latest technology, enabling doctors to use less invasive treatments where possible. They see about 1,200 patients a day at this hospital and perform around 110 surgeries, ranging from simple cataracts to complex retinal disease. That day I met parents with children as young as one to patients in their 90s. I heard how a simple visit to the hospital has changed their lives. I'm very proud of what my father did with this charity in its formative years. We at the Graham Layton Trust will continue to play a vital part in raising funds for the Layton Ramatullah Benevolent Trust hospitals and clinics in restoring sight to so many. Graham Layton Trust. Restoring sight. Transforming lives. <laughs>